going on guys so back again I look like total dog <laughs> just got out of work uh, driving right now to Flushing Meadows Lake in Flushing Queens and right now sitting in bumper to bumper traffic but when we get there we are going to be looking for the elusive New York City northern snakehead so let's hope we can find one because the weather out now sucks about 17 mile an hour winds and it's just a big open field so not sure what is going to happen but I'm not too confident but we're gonna see what happens and find out because I've been going back there the last two days and each day at around five six o'clock I've walked out with a nice big old dragon around 26 inches 25 inches so we're going to see. We're going to see how this goes. If hopefully, you know, I get there in time. Alright, well here we at. There's a lake over there. There's the rest of Queens. And the parkway. So, you'd never imagine that there were giant northern snakeheads over here. But there are. Water's brackish, so it's coming out of Long Island Sound. And basically they're thriving in there so uh yeah i'm gonna grab the gear out of my car and let's get at them oh, me. all right guys so uh the water was a little higher last time i was here but i'm guessing it's the tide tidal change but don't remember if that's really a good thing or a bad thing but i came prepared with a really f***ing big net to hopefully catch a really big fish <sighs> and as you can see, you know we're in the city, Queens Forest Hills over there a cold snap last night might have f***ing shut them off which is not good. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Only about 4 o'clock. Apparently at like 5, 6 is usually when you start getting hit. That was a hit. So there's one in front of that tree over there. I just got uh, tapped. No, that's stuck on something. Is it? Today is gonna be a Murphy Law day, isn't it? Where nothing goes right. Yep, that's off. That's gone, that crankbait's gone. We're gonna have to go with something else now. So I just lost my lipless, which sucks. This is literally the next heaviest thing that I have. Um, I mean, it looks great, but I don't think it's gonna cast very far. I got, uh, I have a dead shad on the line over here. So that's a whole nother story. Seems to go deep enough, at least. It does cast pretty far, actually. See if something hits it, though. I don't think it has rattles in it. Which is also not great. What kind of movement is that? Is 
Ooh, that felt like something. Yeah, I might have to turn the camera off until uh, it gets a little later, and I might have to experiment with a couple things. Right now is not really the magic hour. That's around five, and any time after. I did see one fish jump all the way out there. So, you know, who knows? Laser minnow. I've caught Lakers on this fucking thing, and I just saw four fish jump way further out, and this is the only thing that I have that's gonna get out that far. But you really gotta like immediately reel it in. Can't let it sink. That's the thing with it. Running out of line too. I don't know if they'd hit this. This thing doesn't make any noise. It's pretty much, it's gonna be going on sight alone. And their eyesight's really bad. So this might not really have any effect right now. It just looks good in the water, but. They don't see it. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're here though still, they're jumping. They're just jumping a little bit further out. Yeah, I gotta put something else on. I don't know if you could see this, but something literally bit the flesh off of my shad and hold chew hole through its face. So that was definitely a baby snake head or something. Something with teeth. No a whole piece of that off. Oh, five o'clock's about rolling around, so. Just gonna have to wait and see what happens in the next hour. I got a snakehead on right now. Oh, really big snakehead. Dude. Oh yeah, dragon. Oh, it's a dragon. Oh. guys so right here is a New York City northern snakehead he's probably bleeding from where I hooked him but yeah that's one hell of a fish man so yeah right after five o'clock right after five o'clock pre-spawn they start hitting and this is literally this is now my new favorite fish to catch actually I don't understand why he's bleeding oh man oh yeah I gotta take the length measurements of this fish and uh, the weight sounds like it turned on oh god damn it 
My old batteries are low, but my guess is it's probably around like four something pounds. It's probably this is the smallest one I've caught. Uh, uh, this one has a real attitude problem. Zero. Wait, no. No fucking way. Twenty-five. So this one's as big as the first one I got. It's twenty-five. So he's probably around like five pounds, maybe. Less, I don't know. Jesus Christ. Okay, guys. Got another one. New York City Giant. This right here is a giant fucking northern snakehead straight out of his fucking... Oh my God, Queens. I can't even talk. Oh my God. I didn't think I was gonna catch anything today. I'm so glad I brought this net. Oh man. Oh man, here's one for a new NYC record. Oh my God. 25 inches long. Head to tail. Absolute monster. All right guys. So compared to me, <coughs> Look at this fish. Giant 25 inch northern snakehead straight out of Lake in Queens, New York. Right by the city. <laughs> Absolutely smashed the out of my lipless crankbait right along the grass. Big old ugly nasty bastard. Okay. Next giant snakehead today and just to clarify straight on the rattle trap for anybody who wants to doubt and point fingers fresh and clean okay here's the measurement of the fish 26 to the edge of the lip going down zero at the tip of the tail 26. 